Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am feeling super excited and that is because my parents are visiting me in London this weekend. Yes, that's right, they've travelled all the way down from Newcastle. It is Friday night, I have just finished work, had a super busy week, very productive and feeling really good about myself. And now my parents are landing and they're going to be here in about half an hour so I feel really good. As a summary of the week that's just been, I have been coding which is kind of crazy, I never thought I'd be doing that, but learning code from scratch, learning TypeScript, JavaScript, CSS, and I've been building my own app, which is, yeah, literally crazy. Never thought I would have the chance to code or teach myself to do it. I'm obviously not a skilled coder and I'm not gonna become an expert overnight, but I'm just watching lots of tutorials and building lots of little components as part of my day job. I'm in a really fun seven week project at the minute with two other graduates and we're just, building an app which is cool and I've been getting stuck in even though I'm not a software engineer myself I'm a product manager but trying to learn how a software engineer thinks and how things work because it will help me when I move on to my next team just to understand software engineering teams a little bit better in the ways of working so that's been really really good fun and yeah big shout out to my software engineer and the team who is like carrying us and teaching us who has a lot of patience and is super helpful and kind and smart so that's been a lot of fun and then I actually had a talk at Cambridge this week, which is, again, another really exciting part of the week. I kind of wish I'd captured on vlog, but it is what it is. I'm giving you a little summary now. Um, basically, the university invited me back to give a careers talk to some secondary school students. I think they were year 11 or year 12 about what you can do with careers in English and how you're not kind of like pigeonholing yourself or taking yourself down a set route. It actually gives you a lot of transferable skills to go into lots of different sectors. So I talked about my career history in commercial and communications and now in technology and how actually my degree in English has helped me to broaden my horizons and has taken me down this career path. So that was really rewarding and fulfilling too. I always love giving back through outreach work and helping school kids to make their career and university decisions because without all of that help and the talks that my university put on while I was a secondary school student I probably never would have applied to Cambridge or thought that I was in with a chance of even going to university so that has been my last week and yeah now for a fun weekend um, exploring London with my parents I'll save what we're doing for the rest of the vlog so you can see rather than telling all but watch ahead if you want to see what we get up to this weekend in London My parents are here, they arrived last night and we headed straight out to wander around where I live, look for a nice restaurant to eat at. We went to a really good pizza place and it was so tasty. I went for the truffle pasta or the truffle tortellini which was honestly delightful, probably the best pasta tortellini truffle flavoured dish I've ever had. It was so good and then I think my dad went for the prawn linguine and my mum went for a calzone and yeah super happy with that and then we went to a couple of nice cozy pubs in the area i went for a mocktail i got a margarita which was really tasty and then ended off the night in a pub slightly closer to where i live and i went for a mulled wine like it's the season for it now and all the pubs are starting to serve mulled wine and mulled cider which are my absolute favorite so went for one of those because it's absolutely freezing and i wanted to warm up my hands and feel cozy and then yeah straight to bed and now i'm up i'm ready it is nearly 10 o'clock i'm about to hop on the bus and meet my parents at their hotel and then I think we're gonna head to Notting Hill because my mum has always wanted to see Portobello Road Market and every time she comes we end up getting busy doing other things and it gets bumped down to the last of the list and we've never managed to do it yet so I put that at the top of the itinerary this time and make sure we definitely go there want to see the coloured houses all of the food stalls all of our favourite uh, locations from the movie Notting Hill with Hugh Grant in it so yeah super excited to show them that and then we'll just see where the day takes us it's super sunny outside at the minute but it said on the news this morning it's absolutely freezing and icy outside so I have wrapped up got my scarf on about to put my big boots on yeah I'm gonna head out that door before I miss my bus
honestly, how good does all of this food look? I could have eaten pretty much anything and everything off this table. In the end, my mum and I shared a mushroom tart. Just as a quick little snack, I didn't want to spoil our appetites because there were so many food stores coming up. Oh my goodness, and I forgot about these olives. I'm feta, my mum and I went for the feta actually as another light snack. <laughs> Had lots of light snacks as we walked through this market. And then we popped into a couple of charity shops. And yes, I did end up buying myself these gorgeous trousers. What a find. I absolutely love London for charity shops or small boutiques. It's just my thing right up my street. And I always seem to find such a bargain. And then for lunch, I had this really tasty like potato wrap style thing. I'm not sure what the bread was. It wasn't exactly bread, it was quite potatoey. And then it had like avocado, pickled cabbage, some plantain on the top, which I absolutely love. That was so tasty. And then like a spicy sauce to it. Mm, I wish I could have it now. Just thinking about it and watching these clips back is making me so hungry. And it wouldn't be Christmas time without a trip to Fortnum and Mason's. My parents and I love to do this. We did it for the first time last year when they visited me in London. And I think it's slowly going to become a tradition because we love browsing all of the food stalls and picking up gifts for different family members like Christmas puddings and biscuits and cheese and crackers and chutneys. You name it, you can get any kind of food you want from Fortnum and Mason's and you can guarantee that it will be 10 out of 10 tasty. look at the decorations in Fortnum and Mason's it was honestly mind-blowing if I wasn't feeling Christmassy or festive beforehand then let me tell you I walked out of this door feeling like Father Christmas himself because there were just so many cool decorations from like floating bauble Christmas puddings to like spinning wheels like ferris wheels and musical boxes and Christmas trees and lights and just absolutely everything I think my mind was just overwhelmed by Christmas when I was in this store And big shout out to my parents for buying me a little box of chocolates from the specialised chocolate truffle style counter where you can pick your own chocolates to go in the box. We did this last year as well. And again, another tradition I think, but I love a chocolate truffle or a box of like specialised chocolates rather than like a bar of chocolate or sweets or something. If you wanna buy me a gift, then chocolate truffles is the way to go. And that is a wrap on today. What a long day it has been. We've literally been all over London. So we started our day in um, Notting Hill, like Notting Hill Gate area, Portobello Road Market. We wandered through all of the market stalls, all of the food stalls. It was so good. It's honestly one of my favorite places. And the weather was just perfect for it. It was super sunny, but again, like crisp with a slight chill in the air, but warm because of the sun. And I was all wrapped up and cozied up in my big coat. And yeah, it just, it was super bustling and busy, but it meant it had a good atmosphere. And then I had a really tasty, it was like a Venezuelan dish, I think, for lunch. I don't know exactly what it was. It was kind of like a potatoey bread patty thing that was filled with black beans and cheese, um, cabbage and plantain, which was super tasty, but a little bit of spice. And then I had a chocolate salted caramel brownie, which again, absolutely delicious. My parents went for crepes with like bueno, Nutella, bananas and raspberries in. So I had a couple of bites of those. And again, super delicious. There was music playing. 
yeah as i said just very busy and bustling good atmosphere and then we headed up and dropped in a pub for a little bit with a nice fire that was burning but we couldn't get a seat there so we had to go somewhere else um but just to kind of rest our feet because we've been walking so much literally the length and breadth of london and then headed on to kensington palace gardens and you know watch the swans walk around the lake or yeah like the the lake bit and the monument and it was just super calm and relaxing and just what we needed being out in the fresh air but very tiring and then we hopped on a tube and headed to Fortnum and Mason's which was super Christmassy and we managed to get like chocolates and a Christmas pudding, gifts for family members and things so that was nice and definitely got me in the Christmas spirit now because it's definitely not Christmas until you've been to Fortnum and Mason's in London, their decorations are just next level, I've never seen anything like it from giant Christmas pudding baubles to the Christmas trees and the lights, the nutcrackers, the garlands, the wreaths, it's just decorated from head to toe in that whole shop with Christmas music playing in the store as well and then we came back rested in the hotel room for a bit which was much needed I must admit with the telly on and then decided to head out for dinner just a nice calm pub lunch we didn't fancy anything super heavy and now I am in the house I'm literally struggling to put sentences together I'm trying to like think through what I'm even saying because I'm so exhausted from the day but a good day all in all like it's a good level of exhaustion because we've just crammed so much in and not like we were rushing around or anything we've just covered a lot of ground but I need to get my makeup off and head into bed because I'm falling asleep as I vlog happy sunday everybody let me tell you london is in for some cold weather this sunday i've looked outside it looks very frosty and cold it's got that sort of like winter misty fog to it outside like the sky is very white it looks icy and frosty and chilly so i am wrapped up i've got this thick knit jumper on i've got this jacket on and then i'm gonna put my big winter coat on and my hat i don't know if that's a bit overkill i haven't actually been outside yet but judging by what it looks like and the temperature of my bedroom right now i think it's gonna be cold and um, we're gonna be doing a lot of walking around outside today so i don't want to get cold i've also got two pairs of socks on again very dramatic but i'd rather be warm and be able to take layers off than be freezing and not have enough layers with me it's also set to rain later on in the day which isn't great or I think it's like intermittent showers all day. I'm hoping we avoid that and if it does rain it's just for like five minutes and very light but we'll see because I have planned lots of nice walks around um, Alexandra Palace, Highgate, Hampstead Heath, all of the scenic areas that I visited with my friend James a couple of weeks ago if you saw that vlog but I thought I'd show my parents it because it's kind of a less touristy part of London, it's not like the hustle and bustle of Oxford Circus, Piccadilly Circus and it's something a bit different they haven't seen before, it's not like built up um, city London, it's more like rural and quiet and calm and I think they'd appreciate it but if it's cold we will be in for lots of complaints so maybe not maybe not the best weather for it but fingers crossed it'll pick up a little bit even if it's chilly like if the rain stays off we can still have a good day i really want to go to that cafe i went to again get some cake maybe soup in a sandwich or soup in a bread roll and just enjoy a very calm and quiet sunday after the rush of yesterday and being swept up in fortnum and masons amongst all the tourists and the christmas shoppers
I forgot to say yesterday, but when my parents arrived, they came bearing gifts. So they were doing a little bit of a clear out and found this old set of pans that don't work on our hob at home or their hob at home. So they brought them down for me as a little gift, which is great. I know I'm a fully grown adult now because I appreciate gifts like this and was super excited when I saw them. Plus I do love cooking. So I can't wait to crack these open and give them a try. And then over here, I don't know if that's facing the right way around or if you can see it properly, but they brought down one of my Christmas presents. So if I spin it around, <laughs> I asked for, hang on, <laughs> I asked for a blender or like a food processor. And I know we're a little bit early. Hang on, I'll just walk around. It's easier to move my body than it is this box. When my mum said, what do you want for Christmas? I did request this because again, as I said, I love cooking. I've been dying to make my own like soups and sauces or hummus or guac like on this box. And this one comes with like lots of different like parts. So you have this big head to it and then, hang on, which side is it on? I think it's around this side, yeah. It comes with the bowl, the multifunctional knife, the dough tool, slicing disc, shredding, blender so I can try making smoothies, lots of different types of blades. So I can't wait to get cracking. I'm gonna start googling lots of different recipes, but they did bring it down a little bit early. I know it's November, but they figured I would struggle to carry this down with me on the train from Newcastle at Christmas time, and I'd probably have a very heavy suitcase to carry. So big thank you to them for bringing not only the pans, but this food processor, and they have made me a very happy young adult. <laughs> And that is a wrap on this weekend. It has literally flown by so, so quickly. Today was super lovely. We were very, very lucky. We managed to miss the rain. It didn't rain, I think, at all. It was a little bit spitty or light when we first left the house. And then absolutely nothing. So yeah, very, very grateful for that. And then had a lovely, lovely walk around um, Alexandra Palace, uh, Highgate, Hampstead Heath. Went back to that lovely bakery I went to a couple of weeks ago in... Highgate, I think it's called the Highgate Pantry and it was so good. We went for the homemade vegetable soup and then my mum and I shared desserts. So we went for like a Victoria sponge cake and a caramel milfoy. It was like, you know, those custard slices you get, but salted caramel flavors, so that was delicious. And then wandered around the bookstores, the secondhand stores, went to see the viewpoint from Hanstead Heath, which was again, incredible. I've done it so many times, but it was really lovely and special to do it with my parents. And then after that, we hopped on the bus, headed back, chilled at the hotel for a little bit, much needed, just watched some telly, drink a cup of tea, and then came back to where I live and had a lovely Indian meal, which I can just say was 10 out of 10. It was so good. I'll definitely be going back there and trying to get my work friends there for a curry night, I think. I went for the chili paneer masala, which the guy said was one of the hottest items on the menu. And he was kind of like, oh, do you think you can handle that? And I was like, I like my spice and he was like yeah it's very very tasty so if you can handle it I'll not stop you and I was like no no I like spicy food and it arrived and I think he was expecting me to struggle with it not not to brag but it was delicious and I ate all of it and managed just fine and he came over and he was like I did not expect you to be able to eat that and I was like <laughs> what can I say I can handle my spice I really like spicy food and the paneer was just again delicious so I think that was probably the best meal I've had this weekend I'd say well best Indian meal I've probably ever had actually I really rated it and my parents love it as well we go there every time they visit because they love it so much I swear they just visit for the Indian restaurant not for me <laughs> um but that's it they've just left now I've said my goodbyes they're heading home in the morning so I'll not get a chance to see them before they head because they need to head for their train and I'm at work but I hope you've enjoyed spending this weekend with me in London and with my parents um although you didn't actually see them because I, did, I didn't video any of our time together just the places we visited but we've had the most wonderful weekend ever definitely getting in the Christmassy spirits now let me know if this vlog has left you feeling ready for Christmas or if you're still in the sort of autumn headspace and waiting for December and let me know if you visited any of the places that I've seen in this vlog or any recommendations you might have that I didn't manage to go to and anywhere I should take my parents the next time they visit as ever thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next week goodbye